See, I would uh, like to compare the Aam Aadmi Party with a startup, which you know raised a huge uh, hue and cry about the valuation, but ultimately they couldn't make it. I think that is the yeah. best way you can describe them. In Surat, like she also said that initially due to the GST and other things, there was an impact which was happening, but ultimately uh, with uh, the last few days, you have seen that how Aam Aadmi's uh, Aam Aadmi Party's image was completely decimated. Be it the Satyendra Jain episode, where at least they should have shown some kind of uh, you know. morality and they should have come out and uh, talk that it is not right that he is taking massages and that to from a rapist in inside the jail but they but all defend him but is it curious how those videos got out in the first place that is not the first thing which which Why any not? citizen will is discuss right no no that, let's not no, discuss that no no people that. may not discuss it Right, that's, because that's they the see subject. a sensational video, but the fact of the matter see, is, when we are talking about that elections, was, that was a negative in, sort of thing to do. When we are talking about who, elections, who, who leaked the, that video? See, it's a election. It's a social media age, right? Anybody can leak the video. What the public From is going to see? From inside the hard jail. Maybe a, uh, 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 you know, maybe some guy who is not liking it inside the jail, some police authority may have done it. We okay, never know who did it. Okay, half a second. It. But uh, how convenient for the police to have done it and timed it in a manner like see, that? See, in social media age, the image makes a difference. Who in the BJP is responsible for that loss? I mean, J.P. Nadda has had. He's been a towering figure in that state, but he's not done well himself over there. I mean, in in his area, the BJP has lost. I'm told. What does that mean? See, I think uh, Himachal Pradesh has always shown a tradition that they uh, select a government. Uh, every time there's a new yeah, government they, which comes, they yeah, it's yeah. a swap. So uh, more or less, I think this is the main factor which has. Uh, uh happened there and uh rest of the details i am not very sure what actually went wrong because uh, maybe uh, bjp was completely focused on winning gujarat that could be one factor but otherwise i feel uh, the world's largest political party and one of the richest in the world to not be able to focus on two states when they do it so no, well at a national level that seems no, a bit no i think i think see like i told you it's a tradition and uh, let us see the final results i think there could be a very small difference uh, in the number of votes with which the congress is winning most of the seats the vote percentage yeah uh, and also the numbers like maybe around 500 to uh, 500 to 1000 votes will make a difference so i am not sure what exactly went wrong there but uh, maybe uh, there were some uh, issues internally which obviously bjp should be doing a manthan and chintan and they will come out with what okay. happened exactly there in gujarat kejriwal ji camped for more than 3 months he was literally there and second thing is the ideology which aap was promoting in the two states one is gujarat and one is delhi it was completely countering each other that is why we have seen that in delhi they have lost a significant percentage of muslim votes also in delhi elections mcd elections whereas in gujarat they wanted to project the hindutva image uh, and they were not successful all these comments on lakshmi no, ganesh and all these things Freebies also has been rejected in Gujarat. They, uh, I remember Raghav Chadda explained how thirty thousand rupees each family is going to get in hand, and he made a calculation, and he was promoting that. But I think uh, they have lost miserably in uh, uh, Gujarat, and the reason is because of the lack of credibility which AAP has suffered in the last six months. BJP has run a very good campaign against uh, Kejriwal in the last six months, I believe. the big take away here is aam aadmi party has a long way to go uh, they uh, they predicted that they are going to get more than 200 seats in uh, delhi elections which has not happened 230 they, they they predicted that they are going to win in a big way in gujarat which has not happened so i think uh, the credibility of aam aadmi party has taken a big hit because earlier people were saying that they are non corrupt they are working for the development now these uh, uh, you know these things have uh, gone to the uh, background and what is seen now is arvin kejriwal is having a very confused ideology sometimes he becomes a hindu sometimes he says his nani has a problem if you go to ayodhya but at the same time now he is sending tirth yatras to ayodhya so he, somewhere you know he has lost the plot and people are not believing him uh, yesterday i'll just like to quote i was talking to my taxi driver and he said one thing when it comes to national security and larger issues we will go with modi ji but when it comes to civic polls probably we'll go with aap because we are getting a lot of freebies and we have some people working on the ground so that is what he said but you know i don't know how long they will continue to hold this thing how sure. long this is going to continue because right. they are not a, uh, not a definite uh, opposition to bjp on the national level i believe so